Okay. All right. Well, since we're fresh off of that trash fire, let's talk about the good things. Yeah. About the video game console, quote unquote, <laughs> because this game is single handedly making it into a video game console. So. Mia and my girlfriend um, have been playing uh, a cute little game called Astro Bot. Now, you may have heard hey. of Astro Bot. Astro Bot had that VR game. Uh, back it had a when, VR uh, game. Was it, it the had... PS4, was it? Uh, yeah, it was on the PS4, yeah. I had, think it uh, was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Which, so, a lot of people like that. So, Astro Bot then... makes me uh, insanely happy. And it also yeah. makes me insanely sad as well. Oh, well, I know. Actually, it's no, sweet, right? I think, I think the term is melancholic. Yeah. So, uh, Team Asorobi, who are literally uh, like the remnants of Japan Studio. If you heard they of a Japan are. Studio, you know they made a lot of bangers back in the day that have completely been uh, erased from existence thanks to uh, Corpo Greed. Hey, Pesuke! Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush. And oh my god, Ben. Uh, ben, this, yeah. game, uh, this game is a cry for help and a love letter. All yeah. at the same time. I think it was okay. an unintentional love letter because this game was made by gamers. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. This game was made by I gamers. I really want to play it, but okay. yeah. Okay, so yeah. Uh, let's talk about the actual games. So Astro Bot. So basically, uh, you're a little robot in a little P PS5 shaped spaceship. An alien yeah. comes along, uh, which uh, I totally did not call a uh, uh, corporate. And uh, yeah. they fuck up the ship. Uh, the PS5 crashes into an unknown planet, and all the Astro Bots oh get God. spread along the galaxy. This is this is honestly like <laughs> you could like take out like. <laughs> like the, the jokes so make, on the, the nose. Joke, yeah, the jokes make themselves. Uh, from, yeah, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Uh, you, you, it's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 and and so you and you get crash land on a hub world, which is a desert world, and basically of you course. go to these like Mario inspired levels. Uh, yeah, and you go and you and you and they're like they're like linear like sort of sandbox levels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would compare them to actually. Okay, so a lot of people are saying Mario levels. If I'm talking from a Sony standpoint, I would say they're kind of Spyro like as well. Oh, okay, yeah. So uh, you so basically you go through a level, uh -huh. and oh my god, uh, the the interactivity of the level is uh, insane. The levels last for about I would say ten minutes tops. But oh, there's quite a, long. But there's a lot of them. And oh yeah. my god, this game is so let's get this right off of that. Uh, the game is gorgeous. It's yeah. so it's super pretty. Looks really pretty. If you look at yeah. any trailer, the uh, it's yeah. mind blown visuals. Uh, the physics are incredible as well. So this game, right, is all about uh, I feel like uh, so you know you look at Kratos' face and you see all the pores. Yeah. I want you to replace Kratos' face with an Astro Bot level. Yeah. And re and replace all the pores. With yeah. uh, imagine all the pores can be moved about. Yeah, this game yeah. has a chock full of physics in it. Nice. There's so many like so. Say like for example, you land on a field uh, and there's a bunch yeah. of trees. Uh, there are leaves everywhere. Uh, I swear to God, I spend like two minutes uh, hitting the leaves around, uh, watching them move about, uh, like it's fucking bubble wrap, mate. Uh, nice. And it does it with yeah. every single themed level. So you've got underwater levels, oh, which feel cool. great. Uh, you've got Egyptian levels. You've got like Japanese-esque levels. You've got big metropolises. Each like level has like a theme going on. You've got like haunted castles yeah. and shit. And uh, all yeah. the stuff like, um, uh, there's, there's so Some much- Galaxy, but There's loads yeah. of interactivity. Yeah. And yeah, and, and the game has got power-ups. You, you jump, you spin, uh, you punch. Uh, so do th th you know what control scheme wise? It's, it's really basic. Uh, yeah, and that's to its that is honestly to its credit because yeah. there's there's no sprint, you just run. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you jump. Your double jump is like a short little glide, but lasers come out oh. of your feet. So oh, you nice. can hurt yeah. enemies below you, you can activate panels which activate trampolines with your little laser feet as well. Yeah. If you hold down the punch button, there's a spin which lets you jump a little bit more, gives you a bit of air time. Um yeah, it. so it's like quite a nice simple oh, ben, moveset. That, that's it. Yeah, that, that is the moveset for Astro Bot. However, yeah. when you get the power-ups, that's when things uh, vastly expand. Now, a lot of these power-ups yeah. have taken a lot of inspiration from a lot of games. Uh, Mario's definitely yeah. one. Yeah. So, like, there's a, there's a power-up which basically uh, lets you, like, do, like, a little boost in the air. There's a chicken you can get that lets you boost, uh, um, <laughs> like, a f like, forward one that goes up. Uh, 
Uh, oh, there's, no. there's a vacuum which lets you uh, suck up certain liquids and then just shoot them oh, up nice. below you yeah. like a platform. So you can like, trap yeah, trampolines yeah, yeah. and stuff. Uh, one of my favorites is the sponge one. But basically, if you walk into a body of water, you become massive. Oh, no. Yeah. And not only can you break stuff, but you can also uh, release the water from you to get smaller. And the water is used to like sponge That's up cool. other like, materials that and stuff. That sounds like... Progress. Yeah, Honestly, that sounds like. Do you know what? That reminds me of Kirby a bit. Yeah, it's that's what it I'm saying. It sounds like a lot like, of inspiration being taken it's, from like yeah, a lot of it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's not just Sony; it's also uh, from Nintendo as well. But like, just, yeah. just platformers in general, all around from video games, and um, yeah. And uh, the levels are really well paced, it's fun, it's got a banger soundtrack too, the Astrobots are adorable. So you go around the levels, not only to complete them, but you find secret puzzle pieces, which, uh, they give you more facilities if you get enough at the hub world, which is like, oh, nice. a big circular, sort of it's a big circular home world where the PlayStation 5 is, it's gradually getting fixed, uh, but you get oh, facilities. that kind of reminds me of, um... A, uh, uh, do you know? Do you remember Ape Escape Three kind of did that as well when you like got things oh, and yeah. you unlocked stuff for your oh, hub yeah. world? Oh yeah. I will say this without spoiling much, but if you're an Ape Escape fan, you will yeah. adore, you will adore this game. Oh. I, I, I'm an Ape Escape fan. I've played one. Yeah. I played two. I played three. Can't play the others because yeah. they're Jap Japan only. So yeah, one and two and three were the. But uh, if you're an Ape Escape those. fan, you're going to adore this game. I'm just telling you that right there and then. Um, so, uh, yeah, you get puzzle pieces that expand your facilities, and the facilities you can get are things like you can change costumes, uh, oh, nice. you, you can change your <laughs> ship, and your ship, by the way, is a dual sense. And oh, uh, funny, the dual yeah. sense is on non stop. But I tell yeah. you what, mate, the use of it feels incredible. Like, oh, so it really uses are, the dual yeah, sense. Like, yeah. there, there's always like the notion that oh yeah, like you know all this interactivity of your with your controllers, like even like, like Nintendo stuff with their crazy hardware, yeah. it's like yeah, people yeah. find it intrusive and shit, and they're like oh it's gonna like get in the way of gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, this doesn't. This completely complements it. Oh, that's cool. So you can move your yeah. dual sense to move your little PlayStation controller shaped ship around as you're going towards oh, nice. a level. Uh, um, you can move the sticks around. When you, whenever you uh, save a, a bot, um, the little touch screen opens up like a little oh, hot tub, cute. and they go into it, and you can flip them Aww. like a pancake. Oh, that's cute. Um, whenever you walk or take a step, you can hear the sounds come out of your dual sensor. And, uh, oh, that's cool. This this is the intention of the dual sense because whether you're in war, whether you're on like a hard surface or a soft surface, you feel it on your dual sense. And yeah. um, the sound design is immaculate, man. You can oh. hear it coming out of your controller. You can hear it even on screen. Like my partner, I'm, I'm doing, I'm streaming it to her via a webcam. And yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. And she's like, the sound design feels so good. Like. Yeah. Right, and the, the physics are great as well. That really does help comp the sound design because there are things that can break. Oh yeah. But like you break individual parts of a certain like jar, and it like oh, makes like. Sounds ding, so ding, cool. Ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 ding. Like for example, there are breakable platforms, and they make these really satisfying like pop breaking sounds as you like do your double jump and the lasers come out of your like feet to glide over, and it goes. Ding, oh. ding, 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 and it's like ah. It's, ah. Was, like, That's so cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly sound design porn in the game as well. Uh, oh, the man. physics and interactivity, uh, along with your dual sense, is it's it feels like an experience. It's, it's uh, this game is getting a lot of hype, but it's justified after playing it for almost 25 hours now, and um, I've, I'm on the final galaxy. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, this game it is. I think it might be a 10 out of 10 already. I, I can, I and can I'm bear, not even like, done yeah. with talking about it yet, <laughs> because uh, uh, so like any good platform where there are secrets. Yeah. I adore these secrets. Do you remember in Crash Bandicoot, right? Yeah, Where yeah. you would go through the level, uh, try and survive, get all the boxes, get all the wampers yeah. for us, get in lies. But sometimes yeah, yeah. you'd have to go re really out of your way to find a secret to transport you to the secret warp room. So yeah, for, yeah. for example, nitro crates, right? Don't touch yeah. them or you'll get blown up. However, yeah. they've got a visual indication that they're real nitro boxes. So they oh, go oh, bloop, no. bloop, bloop, yeah, and they'll yeah, bounce yeah, off the yeah. ground. In Crash yeah. 2, there is a stairway of nitro boxes, and you're like, well, why would I go on that? That's stupid. I'll get myself blown up. However, the nitro yeah. boxes do not move. They're stable. And you're like, yeah, that's weird. What's up with that? You walk yeah. on it. Sorry, you're not getting blown up. You go at the top, yeah. you get transported to a warp level. Secret yeah. level. This is what Astro yeah. does. 
Oh, that's cool. You yeah. see a pla- you get a new power up which lets you float for a little while and you're yeah. going forward. However, you look backwards and you see like an island in the distance and you're like, Can I go to that island? You look down and you see the bug that you've hit, where if you hit it, it flips and it turns into a spring. Yeah. Okay, you hit the bug backwards uh, towards the ledge, uh, and then you bounce off of it, uh, and then you use a glide, and then you get to that island. Suddenly, congratulations, you found a secret. Oh, nice. It's so rewarding finding secrets. And as someone oh, who's- Oh, it's like old school. Yeah, it's so old school, mate. As someone who's grown up on old Sony platformers, it yeah. is absolutely- It's replicated It's got the I, DNA of like yeah, the old yeah, like, it replicates PlayStation. It's that style of finding secrets and it feels so good. It's great because my yeah. partner is like, oh my God, I never would have thought of that. And here yeah. I am getting them left, right, and center, and I'm I'm so at home because yeah, it's, yeah a lot it, of people it, have said that it's like it's like the secrets it really amazing. has that like old like PS yeah, one yeah. two era like DNA. Oh, in it. the secrets are amazing, Vin. They're amazing. Oh, They're so it does look good. really fun. I've had a smile on my face the entire time. I'm not even done with talking about Ash, but there's still more to talk about. Oh so, man, shit. The Astro, so the Astro bots that you find, uh, some of them are yeah. normal Astro bots. However, some are obviously based off of the appearance of very special Sony IPs. And, yeah. And, uh, it's so damn charming because, like, I found a bunch of bots uh, that are just, uh, based on old forgotten IPs that have not got anything. So, obviously you got your God of Wars and your Uncharted. Yeah, so. yeah. But then there are games yeah. like Sly, Loco yeah. Loco, oh. Oh, man. Ape Escape. Wow. Also really old stuff that also harkens to the history of Sony as well. I'm Jesus. talking like like Polygon Man scrapped kind of shit. Jesus. As well that celebrates. Um, oh wow. There, there's a loads of stuff from um, Team Eco too. Oh, uh, Team Eco, yeah. There's Killzone, Infamous, oh, yes. uh, Gravity Rush get stuff. I won't say too much because obviously uh, yeah. like, I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, um, yeah, all these old ass IPs. Uh, Suikoden gets one too. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. these old like obscure ones. I'm like, hang the fuck on. Is that Suikoden? Like what? Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, racing games too. Uh, obviously games that are not only like Sony uh, exclusives, but like third party ones as well. Yeah, that yeah. Also on Sony consoles too. Yeah. And uh, when you get these Astro Boys. Uh, they go back to your hub world and, and you can see yeah. them just hanging out. But there's also a machine that you can get. You can spend your coins. It's one of those like, you know those like, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, they're called like the little gacha machines. Oh yeah, the gacha. Yeah, yeah, you pull the lever and you get like the little oh, like, right. yeah, sphere yeah. thing, you open them up. Well, yeah. uh, um, <laughs> oh my God, what an incentive to pick up every single coin you can get. So with this machine, uh, you can get rewards. Which not yeah. only change your appearance, but also change the appearance of your dual sense. You could get like a gold one, a neon one, a red one. Oh, nice. But also you can unlock animations uh, for the fiend oh, Astro cool. you can get. And you oh, see them do cool. these animations uh, in the hub world. And it's great because oh. like, say like, uh, for example, uh, the Metal Gear one. Uh, yeah. If you get a cardboard box, the Solid Snake yeah. one is suddenly seen hiding underneath the said cardboard box in the hub world. Oh, nice. And what you do is that if you hit it, you can interact with them, by the way, as well. If you yeah. hit them, you hit Solid Snake Astro Bot out of the cardboard box. He drops like an Astro Bot themed porn mag. Because <laughs> obviously in Metal Gear Solid, you can use porn yeah. magazines to distract the guards, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, you just uh, see you just see stuff like it, it's it's ah uh, it's stuff like that. And there's like a hundred and sixty themed Astro bots that all have their own unique little animations. Wow. So that if there is one I can yeah. talk about, because it has been put on Twitter, it's kind of a spoiler. Um, oh okay. There's a Kiryu one. Oh, I did. I think I saw that one. There's as well, a Kiryu yeah. one. And uh, yeah. if you get the Kamarocho sign in the gacha, obviously yeah. uh, a Kiryu Asha boy is standing there with his arms closed, with his arms crossed. But if you hit him, uh, you yeah. get like a bunch of references from the Yakuza games pop out of him, <laughs> like a stop sign you can hit enemies with, bowling pings, uh, <laughs> a, a mic for the karaoke, uh, That's the, so po- funny. The, pocket, the pocket circuit little race car. Also yeah, pop- yeah that, that, that kind of oh, shit. Oh, that's charming. Yeah, it does, and that's the key word here. This game has so much charm, the soundtrack, yeah. the looks, and also, Ben, idle animations that are back in full force. Oh, nice. 
And uh, it, it's adorable, man. I, I've, I've seen memes where it's like, you remember Sackboy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen memes of like Sackboy doing the My Hero Academia to Ashabot. You know, you're no. next. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The succeeding. And yeah. holy shit, yeah. Ashabot is so marketable. It, it, and yeah. I mean this in the best way possible. I'm like, holy shit! I like, I, I see like a little Astro bot, like little like toy and stuff, and like even like controllers. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking like, oh my god, I kind of want one, like you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they really went in on the controllers. Yeah. They're really expensive and stuff. Yeah. I and saw, even the like, Astro bots is like, oh my god, I want a plushie of this Astro bot, yeah. please. Yeah. Please? It's a great little Make character. It it's got yeah. a good. Personality and everything. I'm thinking, holy like, shit! This game. Look at what this game is making me say. All of a sudden, in in in, in some ways, like I think Astro Bot has unintentionally become the PlayStation mascot. Honestly, it's. I mean, it's not got a lot of competition, to be honest. No, I know it hasn't. But Sony's like, at this point, like Sony could. Yeah. Like, I know it's not up to Team Asobi, but no. if Sony were smart, they would like, you know, make this their mascot because. Yeah. It's absolutely a mascot fuel, but honestly, it's uh, I'm all for it because Astro Bot yeah. is single-handedly saving the console. Because yeah, I it's, mean at the moment, it's single-handedly but... making me not feel bad about being a PS5 owner. Yeah, because what else is on the horizon? Right? Yeah. So uh, this game is special. It's really yeah. if you've grown up with Sony like I have. This game is, yeah, is, is so well. special. It also I makes do me play it, but... it also makes me angry in a healthy way yeah. at Sony as well because it really highlights the IPs that they've been sleeping on. Yeah, the Sony, Sony dormant yeah. IPs for Ashabot just reminds you exists. Yeah, and, and they also, don't do anything with them. One more thing, Ben, and uh, one more. What I will okay. Actually, no, two more things. The boss fights are amazing. Oh yeah, I've I've seen clips of a lot, uh, the a lot octopus. Of them on, oh my god, the octopus is insane! It's my favorite. The octopus is no, so good. Oh my I god, saw the, clips of the, the, the last phase is incredible. Uh, yeah. And this is the thing: the game looks incredible as well. You got all these yeah. like like you just he's pushing like the like oh he's got games are good. Yeah, games can look good. But you don't have to good. make people bend backwards for it. This was made by a team yeah. of 60 people. Like, yeah. Who gives a shit about fidelity here? And like, yeah. you know, the level of skin on someone's face. Like, you don't have to go that far. It's already great. The games yeah. already look good without going too far. And Astro Bot is really a, an example of that. And the physics oh, are absolutely. incredible. The physics are so good. And I would say the physics yeah. are like, a, it's almost on the level of like Tears of the Kingdom. It's like, it's... it's yeah, it's that's, that's a statement, mate. It's, it's mental. Like, yeah. they fit so much interactivity. Like, yeah. you, sometimes there's just like a little bit. Like, for example, there's a big tree level and it's like a, it's almost like a sand, it's like made in like the vein of a sandbox. Eventually climb up the tree and uh, yeah. use your power so climb up it and stuff or find Astro Bots. But there's like, you know, there's a cow, there's a robot cow you can hit and just like sleep on for a little bit. There's a, there's a cute animation for that. Uh, there are oh, pools nice. of water. There are like logs of stump you can just like jump on and get like little like coin extras and stuff. Uh, it's just, uh, oh, it's, man, it, there's so just much so on. much stuff that you can do in a level. It's And the, the levels are really well paced too. Oh, like yeah. 10, 10 minutes, minutes is quite a long level. time though. I'd say it's a perfect time to be honest for like. No, no, no. I mean, like they, the, they're bigger the, than I thought they would be. Yeah, yeah. For I the, thought for, they'd be like smaller than that. Yeah, for for the structure of a level, it's great. There's an ice cream level where it's made like snow, and like you can move nice. around in it and make like a little like pattern in it. You can make an amoeba <laughs> nice. if you want, that sort of thing. Yeah. The, the boss fights are incredible too. The presentation is is crazy good. Um, yeah. And the boss fights are fun. They're not too. They're not insanely challenging. However, yeah. there are trial levels that have literally pushed me to the brink a lot of times as well. So there is oh. challenge there. Another, yeah. another, and that's the thing. Another thing in terms of pacing is the challenge is also really good in pacing too. So the first yeah. galaxy cakewalk, easy. Yeah. If you play any platform your entire life, it's it's absolutely yeah. nothing. But yeah. as you keep on going uh, and you find these secret like trial levels uh, where yeah. if you die you get booed all the way back to the end. Uh, a lot of these have actually like made me lock in. Oh shit! Yeah. In the later galaxies, some levels are quite challenging. The checkpoint system's really good too, so you don't feel annoyed whenever you die. Yeah. And by the way, um, you don't have health. There are one hit kills unless you go oh. to like a boss. But um, oh, the right. checkpoint system is is really good. So you don't feel it at all. You're just like, oh damn it. And then you try again. Uh, okay. But there yeah. are some really hard levels here and there. 
Like yeah. these, they're, they're like, yeah, they're like these real like obstacle course levels as well that you find uh, in the in the oh, map nice. that are secret that you can find those too. And oh, cool. uh, a lot of them have really cool, obscure secret Astro Bot designs too, based on certain IPs. And you're like, oh, oh man, I really want the Astro Bot for my collection. But well, you've got to go through an absolute gauntlet where you're swapping through power ups. You have to make sure oh, you damn. avoid all these hazards. And if you get killed once, you have to go back to the beginning. And uh, oh, I had to lock in. But one of them took like 20 minutes of attempts. Oh, damn. And I felt yeah. amazing when I be here. So Astro Bot has definitely got some challenge to it as well, I'm happy to say. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. So the pacing for the challenge is really good, too. And now for my final thing. I'm <laughs> I instinctively talked about three extra things. Like, it's just that kind of game. Yeah. So yeah, uh, games, when you yeah. beat the boss of a galaxy, you get yeah. rewarded uh, with... Uh, a level that is themed off of an existing IP. Oh, there is a cool. themed level. And some of them are no-brainers, right? Yeah. Like, this is a big Sony thing, makes sense. Yeah. So, obviously, the God of War one uh, is a no-brainer, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm going to be talking about the God of War one. Because yeah. each level follows, like, a theme based off the IP. So, you become Kratos oh. Astro Bot. And you yeah. get the Leviathan Axe. And it's the exact same mechanics where... You throw the axe, and then you press R2, and the axe comes back to your hand, and you're freezing yeah. things and that kind of thing. It's literally like a mini God of War spin-off, almost. <laughs> That's hilarious. And you're collecting characters that get, like, the good treatment, quote-unquote, based off of, like, God of War, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, some of these levels surprised me. I was like, oh, oh we're no. Gonna, we're going to get, like, a, a Horizon or Last of Us one. And I'm yeah. like, oh, no. We we yeah. have gotten a level based off of a forgotten IP. Oh wow! And I was I had the biggest dumbest smile because I was a fan of this IP, oh, and I was man. so so happy to see the love that this game was suddenly giving it a whole little level dedicated to it. And I shit oh, you not, cool. Ben. Ben, I shit you not. It felt like a sequel to oh, this franchise. Man. It felt like an actual scene. You know, like, <sighs> so, you know Castlevania, right? The TV yeah. Netflix series. You know, yeah. there was one scene there which was basically the studio begging for them to do a Berserk adaptation. Yeah. This felt yeah. like the series begging sorry for them to do a sequel to this I fear. Oh, And man. I was like, oh, uh, uh, it was it was just a really lovely, insane feeling. But it also made me angry at Sony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that is, damn, the game sounds really good. Though. It's. I do. What, I do want to. As get a platforming fan, I think. I think. It's I a, did. I think it's a ten out of ten. You know. You know what though. I. I, I did hear 10. from. Uh, I know there's a. So I know there's a lot of overhyping and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. It's. It's a really good game. Yeah, the team. Team Asobi said like they want to be able to release it on PC as well. <laughs> I mean, uh, honestly, the selection they've got for, yeah. uh, like, the IPs and Astro Bots, it would, honestly, yeah. it would honestly be at home on PC as well. It would, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, what? I mean, I don't well, know how it's long so themed around, that would happen. It's so themed around Sony, though. Yeah. Admittedly. Like, I we're, know. we're trying to fix a PlayStation. <laughs> I find that sure, just... But, like how do PlayStation like, sense, how do the how do the higher ups not look at that as like oh wow the developers are really trying to tell us something here huh <sighs> it's oh, honestly I feel like Astro Bot could not have come out at a more prompt time it's on time, the release yeah. is so on the nose it gives me it hope it, like this this game alone actually gives me hope I, I can't remember that maybe now. Team Asobi can actually save PlayStation it actually gives me hope but I also want Team Asobi to be careful as well because I don't want Sony yeah. I don't want Sony to take the piss of them either. Yeah, we well, just don't the, know. The, these, these people love video games. Yeah. It's it's apparent in the game that they love video games. I want them to be yeah. very, very, very careful. Well, I mean, they are the remnants of Japan Studio, so... I know, yeah. the Roy, yeah, exactly, exactly. They, they, they know, they know what they can yeah. do, so... Hopefully they realise that and they just... They just keep on doing but, what yeah, doing. Yeah, I mean, it, it is sad though, but numbers. I did hear, I've actually did hear something just recently actually about um, Astrobot, sadly, man. It's not doing too hot in Japan. Well, it should be. 
But the reason why is obviously I wonder why, Boris. <laughs> because I feel like PlayStation have given Gee. all but given up on Japan. I wonder who. I wonder who we have to blame for that. It's definitely yeah. not the developers. Nah. It's definitely uh, and <laughs> yeah. This game well, didn't meet our expectations. I mean, it, they will say that now, though, won't they? Oh yeah. When, it, when it's not oh, selling yeah. well in Japan, they're gonna be like, oh, oh game yeah. didn't sell that well. Well, hey, Astro Boy yeah. is just. Uh, a charm. It's a love. It's love. Yeah. That's all it is. It's love. Oh, that's nice. That's all you need sometimes I in the game. Good platformer can be amazing. Ash, if you're if you're a fan of platformers, uh, I'm sorry you've not got a PlayStation 5. I'm actually truly deeply sorry for you guys that you cannot experience it. And I'm sorry for that. Something. I'm yeah, sorry for I that. I want to play it at some point. Ben, you'll love this game. You'll do this sure, game. I'm telling you now. Sure. I'm not overhyped. I'm, I'm, I'm really overhyped. I'm, I don't feel like I'm overhyping. But this game's a treat. It's yeah. true. It's really good. Yeah. If you love platformers, yeah. it's a must buy. Yeah. I'm saying now. The so in terms of what I've been playing, I played a demo that came out kind of recent. The game's actually out now, as we are recording this, and I do want to pick it up. It is a called Buckaroo, which is a spiritual successor to the Gomon series, Mystical Ninja. You, oh, you wouldn't know though. Yeah. It's a blue haired no, guy. Heard of it. No, I do know. But well, oh, you actually, do know. Yeah, I would know of Goemon fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you would, yeah. I would actually, yeah. Oh yeah. So I think Wait, did any it. did any of them come out on PlayStation? I don't remember. But the ones on the N sixty four were really good. Yeah. 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 Oh no, yeah, 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 because that's a Nintendo thing, right? It wasn't, yeah, yeah, it was. It was made by Hudson, I think mm. it was Hudson. Wait, um, anyway, good feel. Uh, the people who are part of Nintendo, like, um, the, the second party, I think, I don't remember. But, uh, they were the people, who, the developers who originally made Go, they turned into good feel. Alright, anyway. Uh, um. they've made a spiritual successor to Goemon. I never thought it would come over to the West. Because, yeah. you know, just it's not really something that you'd think would ever come over here. What's the game and called the again? And the demo, uh, what? What's the game called again? About Bakuru. Bakuru. I'm, I think. I'm oh, sorry. I think of the old ball game where you have to like put things in. The no, horse. no, no. I'm not probably saying it right, but uh, it's just. Wait, hold on. I, I'm gonna have to get the. <laughs> Yeah, I'm you, not saying the name are you, right. Are you saying it correctly, Ben? I don't know if I'm saying B. Is this tr is this trials again? M maybe. Let me just <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let me get the. You know me in the side. Uh, Goemon's um, good feel. Hold on. Let me get the name. Good feel. Good feel, Goemon. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, Mamed Mameda no Bakaru. Bakaru. Yeah, Bakaru. yeah, but it's called Bakaru. In, yeah, Ma Mameda no Bakaru. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like, so I played the demo. I definitely want to pick up the game because I played the demo on Switch. Uh, it's very different to how Goemon worked, but it's got that same kind of like vibe. It's very set in like Japanese mythology and everything. Yeah, it's yeah. It's all to do with like Japanese fairy tale. But the way the game works is really funny. The main character has like um, drumsticks, right? And you control them the way that you attack. You control the each drumstick with the L and R button. Yeah. So, so it's like very like uh, it's it's a platformer as well. It's a platformer, but it's also like a beat 'em up because you use these like it's like a mini beat 'em up kind of thing because you use like the L and R buttons to do like different oh, combos okay. with the the drumsticks. Like yeah, you can do L yeah. L R R like yeah, that's like screenshots it's like, right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just looks really fun. Like, it I does look the, really the, fun, yeah. It, it, it is really fun. I played the demo on, on Switch and it was actually really fun. I was like, oh, oh this cool. is really good. I really want to get it. Um, but I haven't got around to buying it yet, obviously, because of all the housing moving in and stuff. Yeah, but, but you're yeah, going to get it, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get it at some point. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. It's a platformer, but, isn't it? It's yeah, like it's a platformer, platformer slash beat em up. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. No, I was. I'm looking at a trailer for it right now. It looks pretty fun. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they have like the in the demo, like there's like these like hidden collectibles. They're like basically mystical poops. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, these little things. They're like weird poo. They look like they look like golden poos, basically. Uh, okay. But you we find them in the level, and then you get like these like weird like. 
I think they're like facts about like mythology in Japan and stuff. And, oh, all right. Uh, it's it's kind of cool. It's like you learn a little bit of history and stuff. But yeah, the the platforming seems pretty uh, good on it. Well, I will say though, um, frame rate not the best. Okay. Uh, Switch is struggling a little bit with frame rate in certain points of the game. Very but nice. if you can get past that, like the gameplay is really fun. The beat em up, the way you like use the drum, like uh, if you hold down, if you jump and then hold down the L and R buttons, you like do like a big ground pound. There's mm. like different, there's like loads of different tech you can do with like you, the two like L and R buttons, mm. and uh, there's also like a, 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 a parry mechanic as well where you can like nice. deflect stuff. So. Yeah, no, it's got it's got a lot of charm. Like, you should check out the demo, everyone. It's uh, it's on the Switch eShop. So maybe I will. I've been yeah. in a platforming mood recently. Yeah, it's, it, it is pretty cool. I, d- I don't definitely think I want to pick it up at some point. Nice and there's one, not uh, there's not just like platforming levels. There's like because it's, it's like um has like going on influence. It's got like these giant robot like stages as well where you're getting like and there's like these shooting stages. Like, it's like there's loads of variety in it. So. Yeah. yeah, it seems like it's got quite a lot of variety going around it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, no, 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 really fun platforming game. that I, I don't think many people are actually aware of because I don't think it's really been heavily marketed a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it wasn't in the Nintendo Direct, which I found really shocking. Yeah. I really thought it should have been because it's... Like, I know it's uh, it came over here by uh, Spike Chunsoft, actually, were the ones who published it. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah, good feel like got them to publish it because I don't think Nintendo wanted to, maybe not. Mm. Like, so yeah, it's right. Sunsoft picked it up and they published it for them. So yeah, it wasn't like, but sadly, I feel like it should have been in the partner showcase because I mean, the game should get noticed. Like, it, is, it seems really good and I know everything's, it's kind of getting overshadowed by Astro Bot, sadly, but yeah, it'd be that way. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> yeah, but oh, I do. I'm gonna pick it up and uh, I'll give my thoughts when I get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, looking forward to that one, dude. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I haven't really been playing a lot. Um, I've been playing something again. What have you been playing? More my old uh, retrospective of Devil May Cry. Oh as yeah, you know let's, yeah, let's time. go for that. Yeah, let's go as, for that. As you, you know playing from two? last time. Uh, Are we going for two? So I, uh, so when I played 2 for the very first time, ooh, how old was I? I must have been like 18, 19, something like that. Yeah. Um, I don't remember having a very good time with 2. It's yeah. been 13 years <laughs> yeah. since I played it. And I thought, well, yeah. you know, sometimes thoughts and feelings change. Maybe, some, yeah. maybe it wasn't the game, maybe it was me. Yeah. And completely ignoring all the outcries of no, please, for the love of God, don't do it. Avoid this yeah. game. You'll be fine. You'll still get yeah. a good experience from the series. Don't worry about it. I'm like, okay, well, how bad could it be? And so it's a quote, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, man. I, um... <sighs> okay, so let's, let's start with the good. So yeah. I like the design for this Dante, right? Yeah. He's a he's got a cool design. I feel like the artwork, the concept art, it's pretty damn good for DMC too. You know, Dante yeah. looks really cool. He's got a cool design. It's the one they use for his guest appearance in Shim Guy Tensei 3 Nocturne. Um That's kind of all I've got. Shit. Oh man, that's uh, the only good. <laughs> yes! So uh, DMC 2! I it's I feel like the worst thing about it is that it's not even so bad that it's good. It's a fucking boring game. The, oh, no. the levels are so wide and open, but they're so sparse and nothing is happening in them. It's also fuggly, it's green, it's brown. And like, I compared to DMC1 where I was like, yeah, it's grey and dark, but it's a haunted castle and every room you go yeah. in. There's something yeah. cool and gothy horror, like weird demonic shit going on. And uh, it was fun to go back to places and like, like DMC1 is the best 3D Castlevania you're ever going to play, right? Yeah. But like DMC2 is just, there's just so much wide space, but nothing is going on with it. And yeah. you're walking around and you're just, and, and when the demons appear, like, oh, the, 
Okay, so uh, we all know this game's gone through death hell, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And so you know the, uh, well, the, the former. Oh, we didn't talk about that in news, did we? No. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Shit, well, we forgot to mention okay, that. Okay, so, so... Uh, oh, uh, there's a lot of news. I forgot to cover that one. That's yeah. all right. There's, there's been a lot going on, man. It's been a, yeah. it's been a, it's been a month. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, okay, long story short, sad that Asuno left the EMC. Uh, hoping yeah. that it's in good hands, uh, and I hope Asuno is... Uh, uh, I hope they left on good terms, and I hope Asuno yeah. is going to create some cool shit uh, away yeah. from Capcom. Uh, yeah. Let's just hope that the next DMC uh, will be good without him. I'm sure it will be. People love DMC. Yada yada yada. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got my fingers tightly crossed. Tightly crossed for mm -hmm. it. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. It's still sad though, because he literally saved the series and uh, it's yeah. evident in the game after DMC 2, which I've also played, but I'll get onto that later. Uh, yeah. yeah. The death hell from DMC 2. Uh, not even the director is heard of or named. The guy who worked on it and oh, it didn't wow. get a lot of time well, to work on this game either. Uh, so it's Uno World in this game, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, for about three or two months before it was about to be released, which is obviously nowhere oh, near enough just, time no, to save yeah. it from what it is no. and what it has become. Uh, no. I'm gonna say this right off the bat, I'm gonna say the worst thing about the gameplay. Oh my god, what the fuck is that stinger? <laughs> what is that? What, what, what is... What? Oh, they, they couldn't even fix the stinger. The stinger's so bad. It's the worst oh. stinger ever. You know the oh. move, you know the... Yeah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! It's just... <laughs> there's no... There's zero oomph to it. It is the most oh, limp dick no. stinger I've ever seen. Oh, that's no. that's actually the worst part of the game for me. I'm like, well, mm. the, this is the thing. There's so many things about the Mede move set that incentivizes you to just use the guns. And oh my god, the guns. The guns are so overpowered in DMC2. The stopping power and damage they do is so insane. Like, guys, I, I, I tried so hard not to use the guns. I tried so hard, but... The game just incentivizes you to use for guns. There's so many enemies that are flying in the air. Or like, is a fucking demonic chopper where you just stand in one corner of the arena and don't get hit and you just go ba 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 <laughs> sorry, I seriously choked. My <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I'm so oh, sorry. God. I'm DMC two so really oh, has so its effect sorry. on you. And um, yeah, oh, it's just coughing up vomit. It's 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 sad because like there are some like there are it's got potentials like yeah. Honestly, the way Dante moves and animates, pretty cool. Yeah. Like uh, the, the, you can do like wall jumps and you can do like and the way he like moves about and the way his like uh. body just sort of like swerves as you saw like fires his guns as well was like you know pretty cool and stuff. And, like I thought Dante's animations are pretty cool except for that horrid stinger. And yeah. um, the thing is that the game incentivizes you to use the guns a lot. And oh, no. when you realize how powerful the guns actually are, it's just it just becomes like a, a shoot. And I I, I I really tried my hardest not to use the guns. I, I really did, but the melee combat is just so basic. So yeah. you don't actually get new moves. Oh no. You don't get you you're just stuck with your normal moves. You got a helm breaker, you got a stinger. You've got like a different sort of combo depending on what even, direction they couldn't even... you moved on to during the combo, which I guess is pretty cool. But like, there are no pause combos. Yeah, you was... don't get new moves. In, in the first game, you get new moves. Yeah. Um, the devil triggers are cool. They completely trivialized the game, but then again, so the air raid for a lot of the time in DMC. But you want to trivialize this game, don't you? I bet. <laughs> In the end, I just wanted to get through it. That's the worst yeah. thing about it. By yeah, the way, you didn't even enjoy it. Uh, this game took me three hours to beat. <laughs> oh man, that's not long at all. It's not long at all. Even uh, DMC One. Great replay is a, value. DMC One is a short game uh, if you know what to do. Don't get me wrong. Like that's just yeah. how old like those games were back then. But like yeah. three hours is just like it's yeah. laughable compared to that. Yeah. And, it, it, uh, and the bosses are just like a lot of them are so forgettable. Yeah. 
But there's a monkey one. There's a bull one. There's a really cool one that comes out of a building, which is pretty sweet. The yeah. Other, but they're, they're, they're so naff, man. Yeah. The, the, the cutscene, the, there's no story. This there's is no like, story? The, the story is that Dante uh, meets a girl. Um, she's like, oh, come over to this place. We'll tell you more about Sparda. And it's like, okay. Actually, no, I might do that. I have a cool coin that we're going to flip. And that's going to tell me whether I'm actually going to help you or not, even though I got this far into your weird country. And um, he has to stop this guy called Arius from summoning uh, this demon called Argo Sax. Uh, um, you stop the ritual, but the ritual starts anyway, somehow. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, whatever. And then they're like, wait, don't you want to know more about your dad? And Dante's like, I don't need to know more about my dad. It's like, okay, well, that kind of just eliminates a lot of the. We're just going to stop the demon that just. Okay. It's just. And, and, <laughs> Man, Dante is just... Oh, his personality is so weird as well. Oh, did they kill he it? He barely speaks. He wisecracks, like, once. Oh, man. And he has one cool quote, which is like... The guy's like, I'm supposed to be a king! In his weird accent. And he's like, king? Yeah, here's your crown. And it's like, <laughs> okay. That's dumb and really fucking stupid. But that's yeah. what we want out of Don't Make Cry. And that, yeah. that was like... Literally the closest we got to original Dante, you know, like fuck off, feather face, that kind of yeah. shit. Yeah. Where he's just shit talking everyone he comes across. So. But uh, like, instead of like being like, like a like Dante tries too hard, uh, but that's what we love about him because it's endearing and it's relatable yeah. as well in some senses. <laughs> but this guy is trying too hard in like the worst kind of way, where he's trying yeah. to be cool in like a really, like, really edgy kind of like, way. Oh, Whereas, man. like, he's not like a goofball. He's just, yeah. like, trying too hard to be serious. Uh, and that's not, that's not the Dante we know at all. Uh. And no. it's just so limp and so boring. And, like, oh. Lucia had some potential as well, but she's also kind of boring too. Like, you can replay <laughs> the game as a different character, including Trish. But, like, nah, not this game. I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, this game just made me want to play DMC3 more. Oh, man. <laughs> DMC2 is just, like... Oh, oh. I, you, you could easily skip that game. I you I really re could. I realize now how easy you could skip the game. The only like, the only good boss in a game is the final boss. And mm, I mean, the final boss is like is actually like you know it's tense and it's hard to and it's difficult for the right reasons and you're dodging and you're firing your guns occasionally, uh, but he gets up in your face a lot, and it, which forces you to use your melee weapons and your devil trigger, which you can customize, by the way, too. Um, margin devil trigger is pretty sweet. But, uh, yeah. I, and you're just... But <laughs> it's, uh, the fact... Okay, so you know I choked him when uh, yeah. I did the guns, uh, impression of the guns? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I might actually die if I do an impression of using your guns while I'm devil trigger. So I'm not gonna do an impression of it, but I'll just say it's even yeah. more louder, even more. The rapid. sound, the sound effects are bad. I heard. It's well. a bad game. Yeah. It's a bad game, and it's not for Everyone good reasons. Everyone says it is. Everyone says it. The it's worst part is that it's a boring game. That's do you the, think that's that's the worst part about it? It's boring. Do you think it could like, like if if they wanted to like, Capcom could remake it but they like could, from the ground they down they could but they should up. but they shouldn't dmc1 deserves the remake yeah or at least you a spin-off at least a dmc0 where you play a spot instead oh that'd be cool because yeah but <sighs> yeah so two is really unsalvageable i should have really listened. got like literally nothing i really should oh, man listened. at least you played it you know at least you actually played it i played so. it man which brings me uh, to uh, one of my favorite games of all time. Oh my god! Um, are we gonna Are we gonna save it for next time? DMC Free is like a different game. Should we save that one no. for our next? Game? No, no, I refuse. I need to get this horrible taste out of my mouth just from talking about DMC Two. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought we were gonna do it like week by DMC week. DMC sort of Free. Uh, oh my god! You can see why this is like the pioneer of what makes DMC Four and especially Five such a good hit. It is like the foundation of of like what makes the franchise um, such an advancement in terms of character action. So this game has got what, like five different weapons including guns. Yeah. Uh, I don't give a shit what people say. I think, I know DMC3 is not known for its story, but its story for DMC3 is, is artistic. 
I'm not going to say Shakespearean because uh, one of the old actors <laughs> said that for the reboot and it just makes me feel bad saying that. Oh, but God. like, oh my God, what an iconic uh, fucking uh, intro, man. You know, Dante comes out all shirtless, his party's getting crazy. Let's yeah. rock. This is a jukebox, it doesn't work. The whole place gets destroyed. Um, the rival character to end all rival characters in Virgil. Yeah. And just like, it's, it's funny because like, it's all bit, DMC5 actually makes me appreciate DMC3 so much more as well. Yeah. Because like the the the, the foundation from making and advancing those characters in five is all very in free. Well yeah. like, they don't say a lot, but you can discern enough from like the lore from the other games where it's like, oh yeah, this dude's traumatized as fuck. Yeah. And you can see how like Dante goes from being like a cocky little shit going like I don't have a family, I don't have a father, I don't like you and he's like on the how pay both the brothers are in their like yeah. dispute are, but you can tell like these two dudes really need some therapy because of the <laughs> the level of disaster of what happened with their family and stuff and how everyone yeah. wants a piece of not the spot of power like with Arkham. And you see, yeah. like, the whole family ties with, um, the best female character in the May Crying Lady, with her dad as well, because yeah. she's also there for a family matter. And, uh, my partner didn't see, uh, the, um, the plot twister either, with, um, one of the bad guys also being the other bad guy, and she was like, oh, I'd move for that, even though they're also, they're also retelling, like, uh, features yeah. that actually, like, oh, yeah, look, like, the eyes and stuff like that. Uh, the <laughs> bosses are fantastic, uh, um, yeah. The the amount of time, the, the way you can experiment in gameplay with like the different styles as well as like weapon switch. Like, like even in classic, like, I, I played the Switch version where you can do all the weapons and switch two yeah. styles. Whereas yeah, in the OG yeah. game, it was no, you choose a style for the entire yeah, mission. Yeah, yeah, they changed it, didn't and they? And you choose two weapons yeah. only. Well, even yeah. then, I found myself swapping between two weapons and sticking with one style sometimes. I'm still having like a great time of experimentation and stuff. Yeah. Like, you can, like, take Rebellion and, and then, like, say, for example, even Nevin into you, which is, like, the bat guitar. Yeah. And, like, you can do, like, a high time into, like, Aerial Rave, but then while in the air, you swap to, like, the guitar, you swap to Nevin, you build up the bats, and then you go into, like, Devil Trigger into, like, Air Rave, and then you could do, like, change into the Sickle, and then do, like, the... Uh, and then mixing yeah, your combos guns and, like... like yeah, yeah, like, you know, look at all the DMC combo videos. Just from, like, the original build alone, and it's, like... Yeah, it, it, the, it's the comboing, that yeah. was, like, the pioneer of, like, when, like, comboing started to, like, come into play with DMC. It DMC really was. was. It yeah. really was. And I absolutely adore Temenegru. I love the set, and it's so good. You're thinking, oh, it's a big grey-ass tower. But just like, but there's so much DMC1 DNA in it as well, where you yeah. get the thing when you go back and then the area changes. And then as you go yeah. through the missions, you see how it all interconnects and you think, oh my god, like, no way, I'm in like level 15 and now I'm like back in the area, back in mission 4 or something. And just the yeah. way the tower moves and the structures, God, yeah, there are some like doors that nonsensically lead to different parts of it, but yeah. it's a demonic tower, so you can give it the yeah, they the get away with it. They get away with it. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the cutscenes are great. The choreography uh, for for that time is yeah. is insane because it's the same uh, uh, it's the same cutscene director who did the Bayonetta games, I believe. Oh yeah, that makes uh, sense. I can't yeah. remember the name. I think it was like uh, Yuji something. How I'm gonna look it up. He quickly. knocks it out of the park with those. Cuts yeah, yeah. It was the same guy who was the stuff for DMC Five as well. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, and um, Korea choreography. Uh, it was. Uh. uh mm. Began for why. I can't remember who it was Why? now. Google's not helping me here. Uh, don't know the name. Well, of the anyway, uh, they they've done they've made Cry and Bay in there, so so they're going yeah. as hell. Um, yeah, the cutscenes are great to watch. Uh, also, the cutscenes are also cheesy, which is what we want in a DMC game. My soul tells you what's the stuff you like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. so good. At <laughs> and yeah. uh, Virgil is an amazing rival character. Like, he, even like a, he'd been established in DMC 1 uh, as Nino Angelo and stuff, uh, and just seeing him as a person, as a character, and like his motivations, ha 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 ha. And just, 
<laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 so good. The, the, the build up to like the finale uh, and all the stakes uh, and the levels uh, and the music. Oh my god, Taste of Blood is an amazing battle track. Uh, yeah. Um, it's just uh, and of course Devils Never Cry. Just killing demons and to that theme at the end during the credits is uh, a indescribable feeling of just feel good. Um, yeah. yeah, it's great. It's 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 peaked over my cry. It's got the gothic feel to it, like the dark, scary, horror-like vibe to it. And then you've got wacky yeah. woo woohoo pizza man, just like fucking <laughs> yeah. riding a demon while spinning, going woohoo, woohoo, yahoos! <laughs> ah, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's just it's, oh, incredible. I love playing that game. I feel like playing that again as Virgil. That's that's how much I I feel like I want to replay it, and the replay but it is also good because you get more difficulties. Obviously, you can replay the game without having to unlock as many of your moves as well. You can yeah. get old dual fragments. You can get to more secrets and shit. Yeah, that's definitely what like started off like the because you 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 get the moves by buying them, don't you? Yep. Like, yep. Yeah. That's what started off like the whole like platinum like bayonetta esque like buying the moves in the mm -hmm. shop sort of thing. Well, yeah. came from there, didn't it? Yeah, it I'm did. pretty sure yeah. it inspired God of War from like the old games. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Oh yeah. So mm. God of War inspired uh, Devil May Cry or yeah. Devil May Cry inspired? Or was it God of War or Devil May Cry? I can't remember which one came out first. Devil May Cry. Oh, okay. So Devil Devil May Cry and then and then God of War got yeah. inspired by like that. So oh, it's just that the amount of the, the amount of like creativity and freedom that DMC Three gives you, and how yeah. like uh, you can get through the game with just like basic uh, knowledge of the game and like with, with normal fingers, I like to call it. But yeah. the, the, but the freaks, the weirdos who crack open the game and do like oh jump, yeah, there's and do jump nasty yeah. uh, and just like frame perfect like moves and just like you know weapon swapping you know the, the, the fucking like kid be like bam 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 like dive cancel kicks is just like yeah, yeah I, I love how rewarding it is and with like how yeah. it, there really is like a level of skill to it. Yeah. And I just that. love how excessive it is and how creative you can be. And it's a challenging game as well, which is also good. It forces you to yeah. lock in a lot of times. And and uh, nice. like with the stars too, like Royal Guard, Gunslinger, Trickster, you want to dodge around, you want to get more bang out of your buck with like more damaging attacks, melee range, you want to like play an actually good version of DMC2, go Gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to parry, and uh, yeah. absolutely destroy the game if you've mastered parrying, then Royal Guard is absolutely the one to go for too. Yeah. Oh, nice, man. Uh, yeah, oh. it's a great game. I fucking love DMC3. I still do now. It still holds up then. Yeah, yeah. Play, playing it again uh, in my 30s, nothing's changed. It's a, it's a solid game. Oh, that's I solid though. It's still that game came out, what, like 2000 and... 2000 mm. and I believe that game came out way back in like... Was it 2000? I think it was 2000 and five i think oh shit it was yeah like yeah 2000 ps2 wasn't it mm -hmm. or was it ps3 uh ps2 Two, uh, oh shit wow yeah and then they yeah, released a special again. edition as well because it used to be dante's awakening when it became special edition that's how you got to play as virgil and that's when they also <laughs> made a hard mode uh, not uh, yeah you're right rip your body off mode <laughs> yeah 2000 and uh Five, yeah, it was. That's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, man. Uh, fuck DMC2. Love DMC3. Incredible oh, game. Loved it. Great, man. Uh, anything else, Ben? Uh, no, man. That's really it, uh, to be honest. I got one more Quite thing to talk about. Oh, you got... Uh, so this is actually something I've been watching. Oh, what you been watching? I started... Uh, so season two came out of this recently. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to catch up. I started the anime for Nier Automata. Oh, I wanted to watch that at some point. So, well, I completely forgot about this. Though. Yeah, it kind of like slipped my mind. Like, yeah, I don't know. So for those yeah. watching, uh, I have finished season one. Watch it in English dub. Uh, I'm waiting for season two to finish because it's ongoing right now. Yeah. Oh man, you need to watch this, Ben. So is it really good animation? Oh. Well? Okay, so I'm gonna get one thing out of the way. Episode one is the worst episode. Okay, yeah. Because uh, episode one uh, is a uh, one to one. Uh, um, what do they call it? It's it's like a per it's like the game basically, but anime. Oh form. right, yeah, one to one. Uh, one yeah. to one, yeah, completely. 
Uh, it's rough. Yeah. The fr the fr uh, so basically, uh, it's the prologue, right? Yeah. And uh, when it goes 2D, uh, it's nice, but... Yeah. The first bit when 2B and the other androids are on the, sp on the ships going towards the factory... Yeah. It feels it'll, like it, an it, it feels like an early building blender. Oh god, that's bad. And um CG, it's funny, 3D. It, it, you, you know when it shows the character inside their bad ships? Bad CG. Yeah. It's the actual like bad CG game models, not in oh, 2D. No. So you got a oh, 2D god. person hand drawn character talking to a 3D model inside oh, the ship. No, that's and it's so a bad uh, 3D model and it's oh, and it's gosh. it's oof, it's it's rough, man. Episode oh, I do one is it, um, yeah. Episode not great. one is not, not great. great start. It's a really bad start, in my opinion. I think it's not a very good episode at all. Good adaptation. Oh no. However, oh, okay. that all changed in episode two. Yeah, do you know what though? I will say, Joe. I do know about like the whole Neo, uh, the production, um, the way that this yeah, anime came out. It had a really had very it. had. Yeah, it had a very bad um, delays. release delay delays. Well, for that's episodes, in it's like, in episode one though, which is weird. So it makes me think did they yeah. do episode one first? But no, it can't be the case because four episodes I think were already out and then it had for delay. Unless that was yeah. like a separate incident that happened with the studio, I'm not sure. Yeah, and then and then it got delayed again for like another batch of episodes. So it was yeah. like yeah, like it, it had some rough like yeah. It's been some rough development. However, I'm happy to say that it panned out well in the end because. Episode two uh, was incredible compared oh, to one. Nice. So uh, the way it starts off, right, is that it actually goes into the perspective of other characters, not just the main one, straight away. Nice. That's there's what I want like from there's a four-minute scene of just uh, people, uh, just the robots and the machines uh, and life oh, going cool. on in the ruined city. While, oh, the, cool. while the iconic Okabe soundtrack is going on, and the oh, references nice. are, are mind blowing. Oh, there's, nice. there's references to Plato from D from the DLC, and they're very oh, much like 10 second like blink you'll miss it kind of references as well. Yeah. There are like little like items hidden around some scenes when you're like, what the fuck? Why is that there? Um, yeah. There's some great lorgasm things in there too. Oh, um nice. and Oh man, there's also like cute little Dragon Guard references here and there too. If you played those games, like very small ones here and there, it actually oh, nice. it uses the medium of it being a show very well too. And also, oh, ben, nice. it changes a lot of things as well, but also oh, keeps the same things. Set. It, like it changes the direction of how certain plot beats come to be. It leaves oh. out a few things, but the things that it actually does uh, reveal yeah. and works with are very interesting. So, for example, the a new character, a uh, new resistance it, camp android. Her name is Liddy, which yeah. you may have heard of if you know anything um, about A2 story back during yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's the yeah. Pearl Harbor incident. Yeah. But I will say uh, that, uh, oh, do you know what? Because you've not watched it, I don't want to spoil any surprises. Yeah, don't spoil it because I do want to watch yeah, it. Yeah. But I know, need, I, 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 I'm hoping they, it's, back, it's, they, yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah, does yeah. it go into, does it actually go into showing like, because obviously we only got it in visual novel form in the game, but does it go into showing A2's backstory? <laughs> it then? gets an anime adaptation. Oh, yeah. that's worth yeah, a watch. Yeah, yeah, it's, ju <laughs> it's juicy. Yeah, they do, they do things like that all over. And they have oh, like nice. early cameos when you're like, oh shit, it's them. And it builds up on like their bigger moment as oh, well later cool. on in the game as well. And also, oh. Ben, oh, wait until you see the hacking sequences with 9S. So oh, the turret that's... sections are gone. Oh, Instead, uh, it's, uh, yeah. it's it's deep. It's seen as like a deep dive into a conscience where 9S oh, right. is there instead. And you see some shit. Oh no. <laughs> Yoko, 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 Yoko Taro's big grin gets even grinnier when you go to oh, the no. hacking sequences. And they're oh, very early bugger. as well. Yeah, they're very, very cheeky things. I uh, like a lot of them. I had to pause and be like, I still, I like, still what, feel and be like, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> kind of like thing. Oh, uh, I still think like after because oh, this anime is still airing, right? Yeah, I still feel yeah. like after the anime is Ta done, Taro is a, a, he, he planning shit. He can't get away with some of these things. I, I there's there's a bit during the um, the Adam boss fight. Yeah. And uh, th there's a bit in the copy city uh, that gets referenced. Uh, 
And I'm like, no. no way you're doing this. You can't be doing this. Are you actually doing this? Oh, shit. And I'm not going to yeah. say what it is, but I will yeah. say that it definitely, uh, uh, I'll say it was relevant on the internet at some point, but like, yeah, yeah, man, they're not fucking around. Uh, if you're a fan uh, of Nier and Drake and God, this is kind of a must watch because it's really interesting to see what they do with certain parts. In uh, the how many episodes is there the now? Game. Uh, there's 12 episodes of season one, and I believe oh. there's 12 uh, that are planned in, for season two. two. I'll tell you but one thing they do that's in. really cute, though, Ben. So, you know, yeah. the game has like 24 endings. Yeah. So what they do is at the end of each episode, they actually reference the ending in a skit. And it's puppets oh, of the characters. That's hilarious. And they go, hi, <laughs> and I'm Ness here. I'm 2B. How's it going? And they do, do a little skit. Like, for example, like, <laughs> uh, uh, there's, uh, I, it's hard to, I don't want to explore. Like, you know, the, the, you know, the macro ending. Yeah. Yeah. The macro eating one. Yeah. That gets referenced, but it's all like in like cute, like, st um, in real, real time, like puppet version. Oh, that's hilarious. And they even do oh. like the credits build and it goes, <laughs> Like they do that oh, as that's well great! Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great cute little like nod in the Easter egg to all like the oh, crazy endings cute. that unlock in the game, and yeah. uh, it's got a really nice anime intro to, uh, and it's using the older Kirby soundtrack to. You uses some uh, uh, tracks from Replicant as well, which is really oh, nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, a lot of characters that didn't really get much in the game get a lot of screen time. Oh, that's cool. Like Jackass yeah. is also a very prominent character in this hey. game. No, nice. and she was just like the NPC character. Yeah, just the the Mac. But now she's like a fully fledged side character in the anime. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was kind of hoping the anime would do because I was like, I don't want it to focus on too much on like what we already know, like more into the world. If they're gonna <laughs> yeah. do an anime, they need more into like stuff that it couldn't show in the game. I'm happy to say it does that. Ah, oh, that's really cool. So Ben, please watch the new anime so I can talk I will. to you about it. I shall get on that at some Thank point, you. yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting yeah. until season two gets all its episodes out so I can binge it. Oh, nice. But I can't wait to see what they do for season two because they teased it really, oh. really uh, insanely in season one. Oh, nice. And it makes me think what changes are they going to do, how they're going to adapt this, uh, what's going to... And will like... they, and will, and will at the end of season two, will they reveal a new near game? <sighs> Just saying. Wouldn't put it past him. Wouldn't put it past him at all. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, uh, big recommend to you, Ben. You need to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I'll get on that. I'll like, definitely wh get on Whether it. you like it or not, I would say that's interesting the entire way through. Oh, that's cool. If you're a lore yeah. head near, yeah, it's a must watch. Oh, oh, you know I like the near lore. It's very interesting stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I bet I'll just be feeling depression all over again. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you will. You will. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm pondering the feelings of life all over again. Oh, God, not again. You love it. Existential crisis, the video game. That's what you signed up for. Exactly. Right. I feel like that's all of that. I think that's yeah. everything. Uh, that IRL-wise, damn, another long one. All right. We'll get on, on to the questions in part four. We'll be back in a moment.